if it could actually reduce hunger? Wouldn't it be great if we could do something about climate change? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could actually give everybody in the world equal opportunity in life? We've got the technologies to do that. We're optimizing sustainable resources. We're actually using nanotechnology. We're utilizing artificial intelligence to help us. So why is it if we've got big problems and even greater technologies that we've still got students in schools, at universities, sitting like this, frustrated, bored, unmotivated? It's because we haven't been good enough to innovate education. We haven't actually disrupted education enough. Our response to digitalization is often to take a mouse and plug it into books and call it digitalization. The only digitalization skills that's involved in that is turning on the computer and moving the mouse. It's also the same as if we actually built a wooden cart and called it a car. It's not the same. So I'm here today to present to you the virtual laboratory simulations. The principle is exactly the same as with pilots. Pilots, they spend hours, thousands of hours in simulators getting better at actually handling situations, everyday situations, some amazing situations and some very scary situations. But they spend hours in getting better in what they actually do best, which is up in the actual plane. Students get the same opportunity here with these virtual laboratory simulations. They get hours in labs. They have the problem. They're working on the problem. They're applying the technology. And they're actually coming up with results. They're able to make mistakes without any cost to them, really, apart from the fact that they can actually start again and get better at solving the problems and using the technology, using the equipment. Now, this is what digital skills is all about. Applying yourself, immersing yourself in it, using the technology, understanding the whole thing. And I was very excited yesterday when I saw some of you actually using these virtual reality glasses. I saw you putting them on, and what you did was that you actually saw the blood cells. You were in with the DNA uh, structures, and you were working with the equipment. And the wonderful quote I got from Dilly Scout yesterday, the young entrepreneur, was, I want to be a scientist. Yes, that's what this is about. It's about empowering the next generation of scientists to save the world. I hope that you will join us in making that a reality. Thank you.